The visiting Royals. Strathcoming is now live. Streaming MLB The Show 21, MLB The Show 21 Padres franchise San mode. Diego as we get set for afternoon baseball from Petco Park. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and guys, the Padres played well in the series so far, winning the first two in this three-game set. Yeah, and to sweep this team right here would be a huge momentum boost. It is not easy to sweep a series. I don't care if it's three games or four games. I think back to Bobby Cox. His big thing was you just want to win series. Two out of three, three out of four. But when you have a chance to sweep a team, you have to take advantage of it. Ryan Weathers, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. So that brings up the outfielder, Austin Slater, and we are ready for some Leading daytime off, baseball. For San Francisco, the center fielder, Austin Slater. First pitch of the A.B. now. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. Guys, these Padres, as they take the field this afternoon, have got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine first of their team. last ten one ball team. games. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. The 2-0. Finds the zone. Strike one. Four-seam heater right down the middle. I would have thought he popped a clutch on that pitch. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself. And it's ruled strike two. And it's a full count three and two to Austin Slater. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a three two change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Leading off the inning your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that 3 2 pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Brandon Crawford digging in next. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. Here it comes. One out, nobody on. High in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Thoughts, Stan, who stands out? Yeah, I think Mike Yastrzemski is a guy we need to key in on. He's hit in eight straight games right now. Talk about fun to watch. Putting together a single here, a double there. Doing all the things you need to do to keep this streak alive. Well, here is the outfielder to the plate now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Top of the first just underway at Petco Park. A swing and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. See you later. Over the wall a home run. A solo shot here to straight away right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now as the Giants are staked to a one nothing lead.
That home run is definitely worth giving the show track treatment to. And as we look at it, not only an impressive distance shot, but the 110 miles an hour exit velocity is nothing to scoff at either. That's a big boy home run. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. Dickerson. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. The average not quite where he wants it down in the 220s. Two home runs and 11 RBIs. And he fouls this one off. Two out nobody on. Up high, two and one now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Osborne will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. But bye bye, baby, it's a. Johnny Cueto starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy go. is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody man. down. The problem Connor. he's had so far this season, Yay. he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. Danny D. Rowe, this Giants team, as they begin play here this afternoon, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. No contact there, and it's one and two. He obviously found a great feel for that breaking ball while warming up before the game. Leadoff hitter getting two curveballs is usually not the norm. Uh, just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number one. Batting second. With a moment here in downtown San Diego, a look at the Padres starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, they have to be very happy so far with the performance they're getting out of that guy in the eighth spot. He hit over 350 last month, just consistent at bats all throughout the month. He was tough to pitch to, hitting good pitching and hit poor pitching as well. We'll see if he stays hot here. In now, Lee, oh, as he'll take bad. a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. The average right at 280 coming in. Seven homers and 25 driven in. The 1 0. No touchdown. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well-respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, Debro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. There's a strike with the fastball as he gets back in the count at three and one. I can't imagine that pitcher was trying to put it right over the heart of the plate. Thank God he took that pitch right there. Or he'd be getting one back from the umpire. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball according to the ump down the line. 
Mm, awfully close that time. And now we're going to get a stoppage here as the four umpires will gather together near third base to discuss whether or not that was really a foul ball. And remember now, if there's any uncertainty, the umpires can go inside to get a look at the video feed from headquarters in New York. And I believe that's exactly what they're going to do. We'll give you a look at this from our own cameras and let you make the call for yourself. All right, here comes our umpiring crew with their ruling. And it is a home run. They overturned their initial ruling. As they say, this, in fact, was inside the foul pole. How about that? Into the box, that Anderson. Hurt. The third baseman. As the Double first pitch 18. misses to him, it's ball one. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in the zone with a nice executed pitch. A ball and two strikes now. The one two is a cold strike three on the corner. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls Batting go court. their way on close the pitches, baseman. but not this time. Number I 16. think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. At the plate now, number 16. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He'll enter play right at 310 on the year. Seven homers and 29 driven in. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Count even at two and two. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. There's a swing and a high pop up. Longoria is there, and he's got it for the final out of the frame. The Padres get one in the inning, and it comes on the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, all tied at one and one. Second inning set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, the first Brandon, baseman Belt. Brandon Belt. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh. Today's contest is of course the finale of the series and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. This team going for the sweep is looking for some home cooking. It's always nice to win a series but particularly nice when you can sweep a series at home. Lee is there one away. That is it. The short so here's how the San Diego Padres are positioned defensively. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. Wilmer Flores comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Collins will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Batting seven, the third baseman, Evan Longoria. 
Base is empty two away and standing in here the veteran third baseman Evan Longoria. Now the first pitch. Hey. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch that might be the case with this one right here took a wheelhouse fastball 0 0 center cut didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Collins gets there for the catch and that ends the inning. Giants are down one two three. We'll go to the bottom of the second tied one apiece. So here is number 14. He enters playing this one with his batting average up over the, the 320 catcher. mark. Number Guy 14. continues to swing a hot bat. Hit over 300 last month. We'll see if he can keep scorching here in this one. One and oh the count. The pitch. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Rip down the first baseline. But uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Two ball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. That's lifted the other way out to left. Dickerson's under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Batting six. The center field. Okay, here's how San Francisco lines up defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Stepping in now, Christian Osborne. And Cueto starts him out with strike one. He'll enter play right at 333. Five homers and 19 driven in. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. Batting seven. The left fielder. Great. Call it. So now here is Brent Collins as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Yeah Matt he's so difficult to hit from both sides of the plate but his eyes light up when he's hitting left handed against the right he's out on the mound he's been torching them all year long. No balls in one strike. In there and he's in control 0 2 now. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for something up. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here, take a deep breath after that high fastball. You got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Here's the one and two delivery. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Padres down in order. We've played two full innings, and we are tied one to one. Now into the box, Kurt Casale. He'll step in to lead it off in the, the top of the third. Kurt Casale. First pitch coming, here it is. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Hey. 
in there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Down, 0 -2. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. Still a ball and two strikes. Here he comes again, one, two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitching for me personally. Watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. So now to the plate, Johnny Cueto. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. One out, nobody on. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Pitch is popped up, and this is taken in for the second out. Now batting, the center fielder, Austin Slater. So in now for San Francisco, Austin Slater struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and nope. we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ball one to start the at-bat. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. Swing and a line drive, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Two out, nobody on. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Brandon Crawford would be next. Now the payoff pitch home. And that pitch misses for ball four. So the Giants have themselves a man aboard with two gone here. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right the there. A 3-2 offering that was right Crawford. on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. At the plate, Brandon Crawford, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. And he whiffs on it as this ball's right under his glove. Wow, I'm not sure how, but it looks like he didn't even touch this thing. Might have been thinking about throwing the ball before he actually caught it. The game moves fast, but you have to do one thing at a time. Mike Yastrzemski digging in at the plate as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Slater over at second. Crawford at first, two out in the inning. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The set and the 2 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Giants leave a couple. After two and a half, it remains a 1 1 ball game.
back now as the Padres prepare for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. In fact, with the highest team batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball, it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier, yeah, I mean, you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We have a special group, we know it, and we still think we can get better. For the Safe to say no one else around the league the hopes they stop. can, guys. Connor. Thank you, Heidi. Right. So now into the box is Connor Price. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. That's wide, 2-0. and oh. And this will be fouled away. Fouled off. The 2 2. Hit sharply on the ground. Belt has it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting up. The pitcher. Weather. Next to hit is Ryan Weathers. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. And it's fouled away. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Fouled away. The next 0 2. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout now there. Batting. Yeah, Matt, First that's the advantage of getting ahead Connor. in the count. You can really force Gee. hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. To the plate now, Connor King. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He popped out in his first trip. That misses 2 and 0. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. 3 and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Taking all the way, and it's 3 and 1 now. 
Guys, it's awesome how the Padres always do such a great job honoring the United States military, isn't it? Yeah, teams around the league show a lot of appreciation for the various military branches, but with San Diego being one of the biggest military towns in the country, this organization has always been one of the best at saying thank you for everything those men and women do. Every Sunday game, and they've been doing it for years, they're up there getting a chance to take in a ball game. Yeah, and how cool is that? It's really become a stable of what this Padres organization does, and it's one of those things that make you stop it. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. All set for the start of the fourth, and Leading in the bat next, it'll be Alex Dickerson. Alex Dickerson. Now here's the pitch. As it's on the ground toward the hole, reined in. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon Belt. So one down, no one aboard. And standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. The pitch. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third, and yes, sir, it's strike one. Now the pitch. This pitch is popped up. Anderson moving to his left. Two gone. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm, just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 as the top speeds. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. First offering. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. That's inside. 2-0. and oh. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. And oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Tough to end an inning on a better play than this as he takes this one right out of the air. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Lee. That last at bat, he didn't crush that changeup for a home run. But listen, a home run is a home run. This guy's awfully strong, and he can hit it out to any part of the ballpark. No balls and a strike to count. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah. 
hit in the air down the left field line. Heading after it is Dickerson. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. The battle, number 18. Next, it'll be Anderson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. 1-0. Oh. Well, this next pitch Freedom. is a big one. The last thing you want to do is give a free pass to a guy that could run like this. He's a real burner out there on the base paths. Hit back up the middle. Crawford on the slide. How about that? Wow, what a great show of range there. This ball looked like it might now get through up the middle, but check out 16. the spiding stop, and that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. So next to bat will be number 16. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Strike one to start the at bat. The 0 1 on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And he looks at a ball one and two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen. When you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Nope. Ball two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Cueto into his motion. Full count pitch on its way. A bouncer up the middle. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three easy innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. In now, number 14, as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's now a two to one ball game. So he's able to come through here with two away. And that's a good time to check out our RBI leaders on the league leaderboard. And as you see there, he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. Quinto will go to first, and he'll dive back in safely. Into the box, Christian Osborne, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Use the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. The 0 1 pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. One one home. Two balls, one strike. Yeah. Strike two is the fastball that's let go. Two.
two runs three hits and one error for the Padres so far. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. He's set. Here's the 2 2. <laughs> Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And this will wind up a foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball. And the hitter just fouls that one off. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside. Seeing swings break down and result in soft contact. He said some of that is pitch selection, some of it is poor swing mechanics, and some of it is a lack of focus. But either way, the message down here is that they need to find ways to make adjustments in the box, guys. For San Francisco. Okay, thank you, Heidi. In is the third baseman, Evan. Evan Longoria. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. And now pitch on the way. As the first oh, pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Now here it comes. A bouncer to the left side. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. Not a now lot you can do with that Petra. pitch. That fastball Her. just ate him up the inside salary. and gets the soft grounder for the out. Next to stand in is Kurt Casale. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Now a changeup is bounced to second, scooped up. And there's out number two. The pitcher, number 47, Johnny Cueto. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Johnny Cueto. First delivery to him. That's a ball. Ball one, no strike. Fifth inning, two to one our score. And he fouls this one off. One and two, here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Giants down in order. They still trail it here, two to one. That would be Brent Collins. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. 
Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The two-one. Left side, but well fouled. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Count remains full. The next three, two. Just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Bonnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good now wheels bat. off base. Not and that's stop. just what they did right Honor. there. Big strikeout, right. keep that guy off the base path. Standing in now, Connor Price. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 0 1. Behind 0 2 now. One out, nobody on. And he missed with it. It's one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Fouled off. And a bit of a jam shot there as this is on the ground to second. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting, the pitcher, Ryan Weather. So the next to bat will be Brian Weathers looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there oh, north of seven, time. eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. In there, and it's even at one. And the Padres pitcher behind with a one and two count. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Weekly hit towards first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over.
Padres down in order. They still lead it two to one. Striding in is Austin Slater. He'll start things out Lead in their half of the Francisco. sixth as they look to the shake things up here for 15. a lineup that, quite frankly, Austin. has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. First offering on its way. Slater who cleverly has the nickname AC. He's a five year vet at the major league level. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate two and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that and this one caught the zone. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. A good pass at that ball. Just a little late, and now the count's full. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Fly ball into straightaway left. Collins arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center now for the first out. Second base, Brandon Crawford. Digging in next, Brandon Crawford. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now a fastball here as this is slashed the other way over the third baseman's head. A fair ball. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them the right hit on the absolute five. screws. One's right, right at one guy, and then yes, one's a single. Three. Go figure. Stepping in now, Mike Yastrzemski as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and zero. Oh. He's one for two in this one. A strike. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. And a fastball that misses up in the zone here. It's two and one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Now the 2 1 pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Lee is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The batter, the left fielder, Alex Dickerson. Next, it'll be Alex Dickerson. No hits to this point. First offering. And a check swing here. Appeal down to third, but Matthew Ross says he held up. Ball one. One oh count. Here it is. One and one. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology Up more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. 0 oh for 2 for him to this point.
the 1 0. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs, a ball and a strike. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. And he'll watch the fastball miss down low. It's two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. Ready with the 2 1. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw on to first, and the Giants will be turned away here as that ends the inning. Giants leave a couple. Our score remains 2 to 1. Anthony DiSclafani enters to do now the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 26, Anthony DiSclafani. Ready to go for the last half of the Here inning and set what to go is the rookie first baseman, the first Connor baseman. King. Connor King. Pitch on the way. One out. Count now a ball and a strike. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Fouled away. Fouls this one off. Another one two delivery. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Fouled off. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Now the three and two pitch. You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound is completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And that no at bad. bat will put a no smile on ten. any manager's face. The pitch total of the opposing pitcher just keeps going higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. Lee will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. From the stretch. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. As a look, now the pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Hey, it's much easier to lay up the breaking stuff when it's coming in towards you instead of when it breaks away. A good take there. The ball and two strikes. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left-hander and a right-hander get loose. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. <laughs> 